Oh. 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 Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He got a furnace in his grundle area. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Chubba Games channel. I am Chubba. Welcome back to Lies of P episode whatever. I don't know. Five, six. We're in a sewer. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what episode it is because we're in a sewer full of probably just factory junk. I'm not going to say poopy. I'm not going to say it's poopy. Because this is a puppet factory. Unless puppets poop. Do puppets poop? That's a weird way to start the episode. What is that? In the swamp of, yeah. Corru oh, we're about to find out. It's a lady puppet. You're not going to throw Excalibur at me like the Legends of Old, are you? That's unfortunate. Whoa! Don't come swinging at me. I'll swing right back. I hope everyone's having a good day out there. I'm having a day. Uh, of all days, this is one of them that I'm having. It's not bad. It's not great. I don't have any heat in my house, and the water lines are frozen, so I'm just trying to make the best of a bad situation. Chill out, play some games, find out what's in this terrible swamp. Oh! Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? We got two little feet danglers. Three of them. I see them flopping around in the water there. There, there, and there. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know about this. Can I just lure him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come at me, big boy. Hug me in your giant arms. Make me feel safe. Oh, he's gonna back off. Is that the... Is that the limit of your range? Uh-oh. Woohoo! Bob and Weave, I gotta watch that corruption! Because it's getting up there. Two swings? Nope, just the one. Uh-oh, third one! I thought he only had two in him. That makes me a fool. Well, see, there he only did two. You're Trixie. You're a Trixie boy. I thought he was coming for a third one. I was just going to take it. Uh-oh. We missed. Are you going to hit it with the double? Oh, my goodness. Oh, just short. The range of this thing is shorter than I imagine. Look at that. You see that? <laughs> He's coming for the third. Whoopsie. Alright. It's time to brawl, my friend. There we are. I forget that with a strength build... Ooh, I did not see that. That lady lurking in the water. I forget that with a strength build, sometimes you just gotta go for it. And it, it helps. Um, alright. Okay. Get out before the corruption gets us. I'm not sure what it does. If it's an instant kill or if it's a slow poison. But once that meter fills up, the status effect does happen. And I don't want it to. So we're going to try to keep that down as best as we can. While dealing with these sirens of the waters, as it were. I think we can just leave that one alone. This one might be popping up, so we'll come out and give her a, give her her comeuppance. How dare you? How dare you just chill? Vibe in the toxicity? I'm going to wait for that meter to come down a little bit. We're going to pop a Capri Sun. Mm, delicious. Tropical flavor. And then we're going to go. Oh, there's butterflies. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no! Oh, there's only halves! There's halves of puppets! Ooh, and he's fast too! I don't like this. I don't, ooh, the range. My goodness. Things to keep in mind. Can you. Are you throwing a rock at me? Please don't. That's rude. Oh, <laughs> he flopped on his back. Oh no. 
almost feel a little sad. Okay, so there's butterflies there. That was probably the trap intended. As soon as a butterfly spawns, you're like, oh yeah, and you go get it, and then they bite your ankles. But I think we're cleared now, as long as we keep the corruption down. Oh yeah, we're good. We get a hidden moonstone for our troubles. That is a weapon upgrade material. We will need that. Another hidden moonstone. Great. Well, this was fun. Is there anything else here? Do we progress, or was this just a little side area? I'm gonna guess it's just a little, little side area for some treasures, little challenges, little treasures. Let's go ahead and finish off this lady just for the extra ergo. Will help us to level up in the future. All right. That is not a puppet. That's a whole person. Well, yeah, I suppose they're still whole. Just a little decomposed. Or burned. I don't know. All these corpses you find have no hair, and their skin looks blackened, so I'm assuming they're burned. Maybe because of the petrification disease, they go around uh, burning the dead. Because maybe that's how it spreads. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll get our health back, we'll get our Capri Sun sippies back, and we'll continue on. That's a trap. 100%. But, does that mean there's going to be a trap around the corner? Because, what is that? Oh! Oh! Incoming! Incoming! I tried to warn you. I tried my best. And now you're burning. Look at you. Because you didn't listen. You didn't listen. Right, here comes another one, by the way. You might miss this one. Yeah, I think you're good. You're good, sir. Oh, no. <laughs> I had all the time in the world to formulate a defense against him. I'm going to hope this misses me. Oh, good. Good. Ooh. Okay. Oh, no. Another one's coming. Oh, no. A puppet. Huh. Dastardly. Dastardly. This game. Oh, it likes to offer its traps to you. Okay, let's wait. No reason to rush. There's no reason to rush. Against a giant flaming ball of what looks to be puppet parts. I can use the trap to my advantage, it seems. That's handy. Not that they're particularly bad to deal with, but it is funny, Squish. <laughs> okay, no others that I see. We'll wait. Okay, I do see one, two, three of them. Uh-oh. Come on, then. Watch out behind you. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Uh-oh. I, I need to watch out. Boop. Easy peasy. Right. And down to nothing. Uh, can I open this? I can. Hey, look at that. Gemini's emergency protection. We're going to leave the trap hallway, although there's got to be some treasure up there. Let me let me just poke my head in here and find out what's going on. Uh, not a door. A door that's not a door. What's down here? Oh, we're back at Big Chungus already. Going through the corrosion swamps. And this lowers the ladder down to him? You must be crazy. You must be crazy. Oh, no. Am I supposed to go down there, give him some pokes, come back up the ladder, let that corruption go down? Ugh, oh, I don't think... I wonder... If I can test throw something at him. We got some gears here, we'll give that a spin. And see if we can even do damage to him. Uh, 
I didn't see a health bar. I don't know about it. Let's, let's put a pin in this whole situation. There's more rooms to explore first. We'll see what we can find. He might be the boss of this level. I don't know. Might be that when you... Oh. Oh, there's a stargazer. Nice. Might be that when you go into the swampy swamp, a little health bar comes up. That boss health bar. And you begin your fight. But I, I don't know. That seems like an odd place. Okay. I'm gonna go up. Is there puppets? Oh, of course. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Alright. I panicked. I did, I did not keep my cool. Should have ran straight across instead of running backwards. Lessons for next time. We're just gonna sip on the Capri Sun. We're gonna get this guy going. And let the trap take him out as well. We're gonna work harder. Hmm. We're gonna work smarter, not harder. There's one. And number two should do it. Fantastic. Alright. Since he was standing here safe, I'm going to assume that I am also safe. Let's see what our reward is. A new weapon! Fire axe blade and a fire axe handle. Interesting. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Let's see, motivity and technique. So this is a completely balanced weapon. Uh, patient slash and endure. Well, we'll take a look at the move set. Patient slash, gather your strength for a wide range attack. Hold down the button for a stronger attack, okay. And endure allows you to temporarily withstand the enemy's attacks. Interesting. So there, there's the axe. Got a couple of nice little arcing swings. A chop. The charge up attack is a... Ooh, you take a step forward and chop. Handy. That could be handy. And then the dash attack. It's a nice little swing. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back to just my blade. Because we're trying to focus on motivity weapons. That's going to do the most damage. I do like that, though. I like that little charge forward and then a down slash... I could take the handle off of that so that I have its move set and put it on this blade. We'll figure that out later. Um, oh. Humans? Animals? What do we got? You're not gonna... Oh. Admirers seem to follow me everywhere. I don't know who you are. I literally have no idea who you are. What does this say? Star fragment. What you need there... What are you, a fox? What are you? Some sort of cat? Cat fox. Pleased to see you, Red fox. Friend. Hi. You made it all the way here, unbothered by ruffians. You've got talent. Thanks. I've seen you before, but who cares? Who cares? This may well benefit our former client. Did you catch that subtle whiff of money in the air? <laughs> Moneybags himself, Lorenzini Vanini, is inside this factory this very moment. You caught us on our return trip. We had to deny his ridiculous request in person just to be sure it wasn't a joke. All we could do was laugh. Keep your whiskers up if you're heading in there. He is the <laughs> richest whiskers. man in Krat. Or so they say. Who knows? Maybe he's handing out bags of money to lift his spirits. Ha! <laughs> That seems unlikely. No way are we doing that. Well, anyhow, best of luck. Weird. Are you also stalkers? Do stalkers wear masks? Is that the whole shtick? Because I'm not wearing a mask, and yet you called me a stalker. I don't know, man. Also, what do you need money for in a, an apocalyptic scenario such as this one? Uh, oh, oh hi. <laughs> He gave me a little, gave me a little fright there, actually. Uh, 
And now you're dead. Look at you. Uh, let's talk to them again. Forget the golden rule of Souls games. Always talk to them until they have no more dialogue for you. Well, that was easy. Are you carrying the latest oh. edition of Benini's Landmark Guide? It's the most popular non-fiction work in Kratz these days. Maduro wrote the actual guide, but Benini published and financed it. Oh. It goes for a premium at the shop, but Maduro might not get his cut. He went missing recently, which of course made that volume more popular than ever. Maduro is you can get missing. All three volumes collectors want, that you can get four. No, five thousand for it at the shop. Uh. You're in luck. I have a conscience and a powerful sense of self-preservation. Oh yeah, do ya? I'll let this one go for five hundred. That's a good investment. Five hundred, ergo? You'll wish you had this, and the price is a steal. Warning, the book has been banned. If found, please report it to the city. Um... I feel like this is a ripoff, but, uh, yeah, why not? It's 500. Okay. What do we get? This month's attraction, Rose Estate. There's a warning ban attached to the... Attached that bears the herring symbol of Krat. Warning, this book has been banned. If found, please report to the city. Reading banned books will result in punishment. Are you sure you want to read it? Yeah! Some uneven handwriting is here. You were warned, but you're reading a forbidden book. You're a bad person. Well, you're reading it, so this is what you get. The roses bloom at the Rose Estate. Don't know the rest of it. The end. Reporter Cat. This guide was made in support of the Red Lobster Inn. <laughs> oh, so did he just sell me the fake that he wrote? <laughs> so, have you had time to read it? It's the first volume I wrote, so yeah, yeah. too easy. <laughs> By the way, I need to mention something before it slips my mind. It's a shame that well, the that's okay. went missing, but I fear you misunderstood this commitment. I am willing to sell my newest book for 500. No refunds, of course. <laughs> that's a given. But look on the bright side. That volume of this series is not easy to acquire. So he's a con man. Got it. <laughs> Take care you don't get torched. <laughs> okay, and he's out of dialogue. Best of luck. All right. All right, you conned me out of 500. Congratulations. Mostly just because of my curiosity. Um, okay, so we got stairs up or that area that way. Coming out of where we just... Could you quit stomping around for a while? I'm trying to talk. Uh, let's go up the stairs first. Just on a whim. I don't know. Ooh, there's a lot of options. <laughs> Maybe I should go back. Um... Go forward a little bit here. Some writing on the wall. Barrels of ale. Probably probably oil. But you know. Oh! Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So we're gonna make this bridge. Yeah. And that'll lead back to the first stargazer we found. I wonder if Big Boy is still there with the three, or no, two oh, puppets. The pipe fit like a glove. Well, like a pipe. <laughs> that fit. Idioms, you know? Idioms, you know what I'm saying? Yep, he's still there. Okay. Well, I have access to that stargazer if I need it. I would need to go past him, but... Nothing's ever easy for old Pinocchio. Ooh. Ooh. Are these are these gonna open up? I see I see a big Those guy back there, but oh, just left me. That's rather <gasps> a person. Okay, nothing so far. Stalkers, is that Vanini? Is he okay? There's stairs. Vigingi, is that you? Was this star fragment? Nice. Ah, all right, Vanini, pull yourself together. You have a duty to this city. And it is him. We meet Mr. Vanini. As soon as I repair that stargazer. Hello. Oh, talk to me. Oh, easy now. Don't need to kill me. Oh. <laughs> Surely we can discuss this like reasonable people. Listen, I know I look intimidating. Hold on. Geppetto's a friend of yours. Did he send you? 
Yes. I, I'm, uh, I'm fine. Please, help me find my butler, Pulcinella. Pulcinella. And a friend. Oh. Those stalkers were supposed to be working for me, but... Well, they bolted and left me to my fate. They're literally right outside the door. helpful. My butler went to barricade the back door, and I haven't seen him since. Pulcinella has been a loyal companion. I'd hate to lose him. Oh, so you're an actual the friend of puppets. Is, of course, my priority. We must take it back. But please, keep an eye out for my... Or my butler. We get it. Consider it a personal favor and owe you in kind. You get a thing for your butler. I get it. Oh, we got an emote. Fear. Let's let's take a look. Let's take a look. Mr. Vanini. There he is. I like your mustache. And your gloves. They're shiny. Sitting around puppets. Okay. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to make of him yet. But he seems... I don't know. I have no opinions. He He's here. He says he's here to help shut down the factory. We'll see if that's true. We gotta look for his puppet butler, which... We're either gonna find him dead, or it's going to be the boss. That's just my guess. Um, I'm gonna go level up real quick, meet you back here in a split second. Alright, and here we are, back continuing on. Right where we left off. Just a wee bit stronger. Not much, but enough to get me some stat points. Um, that looks terrible. Alright, so what if I go and talk to the stalkers? Vanini is a jerk. I want to make as much as Vanini's pu butler puppet does. Oh, a little favoritism. I mean, a puppet probably didn't graffiti that. So, okay, yeah, we got multiple options on where to go. Don't worry, I'm going to explore this whole place, so if you see me ignoring something, I'm going to come back to it. Best of luck to you. Okay, they don't care that I met Vanini. Alright. Well, let's go see what's down this hallway that was next to him with this little mindless guy. Come on, now. Ooh! Ooh! I didn't mean to take that hit, didn't need to take that hit, but we took it nonetheless. Alright, let's focus up, shall we? Oh my, oh my. Okay, nothing behind us that I see. Can you, yeah, oh boys, boys, let's calm down, let's talk about this, let's talk about this. Just kidding. Hello. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, gotcha. A vivid ergo fragment. For our troubles. Let's continue on. Oh. Let's hang on. Before we go into a door with a weird marking on it. That, I believe, was where we fought, yeah, the shield guy. Where it dropped down, there's the hole. Yeah, alright, alright. If you remember that from the last episode, yeah. That long, oh, that's where a trinity door is, because it's got the, yeah, okay. A little triangle, a little trinity triangle. What is this? This looks occult. <laughs> and cozy, like a... Like a meeting of the Masons or something? Freemasons? Or, I don't know, some secretive club? What does this say? Question of the day. Did this factory worker ever think he would dest uh, be destroyed like a puppet? Oh, no. Let's make sure I read that right, because it goes kind of fast. Did this factory worker ever think he would be destroyed like a puppet? There was a factory worker destroyed like a puppet? Oh, no. Oh, do I want to touch the cursed book? Three, create one. You who open the door, be one of the great ones. Oh, I don't know what any of this means. I'm going to rip this off its hinges. Hurrah! Strong. What do we get? Blue blood. Ooh. It, 
Quartz, very important. That's how I level up, or uh, improve my abilities. And I got a new costume. Blue Blood's tailored coat. The bastards who didn't fit in with the Krat's ruling class dreamed of overturning the world. They teamed up with the foreign alchemists of the Isle, opening the door to Krat's golden era. Interesting. Formal attire of the stock organization of bastards. The blue tail coats are the bastard's pride. Oh, that is a drip. Oh, it's so drippy. I can't wear the green hat anymore, though. It kind of clashes. No. Nah. Festive. Uh, if there was, like, a ruby tinted. Or blue tinted. But, ooh, yeah, I like that. Nice. The outfits do nothing for you mechanically. It's all cosmetics, but you gotta you gotta slay puppets in style. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, crawly boy! Oh, there's one on the ceiling. Oh no! Whoa! Oh, I thought I thought there was one behind me. It was a rope. Okay. All right. Come on, you nightmare creature. Let's go. Very good, very good. That, oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. Creepy, creepy. Oh, drop down already. Oh, thank you. I need the big swing. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Before I look down? You're alive, okay. Nothing there. That is a human. And nothing there. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's drop down and take care of this thing. And immediately... Oh, I was gonna say. Immediately dodge, because I'm sure there's something coming up. But we did not get the dodge in time. That is fine. We get thermite for our troubles. And a saw blade. That looks like a throwable, maybe? Nice. A saw blade that can be thrown. An enemy who is hit by it will receive continuous slash damage. Some throwable weapons both great. Uh, okay. Neat. I don't want to use it right away, but if I remember on the next big guy we see... I'm going to toss it and see what it do. My big assumption is that it's going to do continuous... Oh, it's just going to hang on. Speaking of big guy, throw it. Yeah, there you go. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right. Ow. Okay, let's back up. Get some slashes in. Okay, I can. Ooh, oh no, I can reliably. <laughs> How you doing? Take two. I can reliably see that one attack coming. The rest of them, not so much. Oh no. This one. Whoa, I, I didn't even see his health bar anymore. Swordmaster's amulet and a hidden moonstone. My goodness. What a fight. That took out some of my health. We'll sip the Capri Sun. We'll grab this. Is there anything to do with these controls? No? We'll find out what that amulet was. Let's see. Reduces weapon durability consumption. Oh, that's neat. Uh, the Swordsman Master's graceful movements largely reduced weapon wear and tear. However, there were extremely few puppets who could imitate him, even when equipped with the amulet, with the record of his movements. Oh, so amulets, like, have memories on them. Interesting. Or data, I guess, since we're, you know, a puppet. Kind of a, kind of a robotic type situation. 
I'm not going to equip it because my weapon durability is okay. I haven't been running into too many problems where it just drops a lot. And you can resharpen it on the fly. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. Oh, we loop back. Okay. So that was just a little side area to get yourself some some goods. Okay. Okay, before I, I go into there, because I do want to go into there, I am going to go rest at the bonfire. Get them little Capri Suns back. For those of you wondering, the Capri Suns are my healing juices. I forget what they call them. Right there, it's selected on my inventory. Call them Capri Suns, because why not? They're blue. Delicious. I called the Estus Flask in Dark Souls orange juice. So, because it was orange. And full of Sunny D! <laughs> are all of those enemies or just those two? I don't... I don't like this. Okay. Oh, you're supposed to walk forward a little more. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. A sharp pipe to throw. Okay. You can't tell, but I'm I'm constantly when I go into a new room, I just hit that lock on stick to look for hidden threats. My name is Clark Shore. Oh, this is the snake salesman guy from the last video. We found lore on him. Uh, he yeah, and he sold a cure to the petrification disease that was complete utter BS. People call me Doctor Kiro. I intend to confess my sins. Oh, I made innumerable. I made innumerable medicine sales under the guise of it being a cure-all. At first, even I was assured about the experiment. Early on, the cure really was effective in neutralizing the petrification disease. And why would the great alchemist's record be wrong? I know I stole it, but I perfectly followed the manufacturing process. My cure was perfect. But what went wrong? I dare not record what the ones who got treatment turned into. That was literally hell. And when I realized that I was the gatekeeper who opened the doors, I ran away. How can I atone for my sins? I only tried to treat patients and earn a few extra coins. I'm dying and this is my penitence. I also have the petrification disease, but I'm not getting the cure. I'd rather turn to stone and freeze to death. God, please forgive my terrible sins. Okay, so... He actually had a cure, seemingly from the alchemist, but screwed up the process somewhere. Or maybe the alchemist didn't write down the entire process. Or what he stole he thought was the cure, and turns out it wasn't. Interesting. You're not alive, okay. What do we got? Ooh, more lore. Have you seen this eccentric? Hot off the press news this month again. This month's eccentric is Mr. J, a gentleman who caused a stir by marrying a puppet. Oh, okay. It is because the custom-made puppet is so beautifully... Oh, is it? Is it because the custom-made puppet is so beautifully made? Or that Mr. J's peculiarities, even he was unaware of, suddenly burst? Mr. J fell in love with the made puppet at first sight. And they got married in the farce of his family's opposition. Ooh. Dude had a maid fetish. And married his sex doll. But the lover's secret wedding faced ruin. The enraged family stormed in. The husband was confused. The puppet bride was greatly damaged. She clearly had a soul. We loved each other. Gentleman Jay, who became his family's headache, still makes the same claims. He's even fixing his bride and redoing the wedding. This tragedy was all made possible because of Krat's advancing puppet technology. Let's all listen to our families now. Ha ha! The Have You Seen This Eccentric corner will continue next month. Huh. That, that's a lot of cigarettes. That's a lot of cigarettes. Some of those aren't even smoked. Interesting, that... Are they trying to hint that puppets might have a soul? Are they hinting that Ergo is a soul? 
Is that what we're gonna find out? That ergo is just human souls somehow? And we're shoving him into bodies? We're just making- Oh, hello. We're just making golems? Could be. We'll find out. What's this- what's this dude about? I don't- He's holding his head. I don't, uh... Let's make sure we're- we're a little prepared here. I must atone for my sins. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I'm a real boy. Just a normal human. Nothing to see here. Just, just a normal. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Can I open this door? I must atone nope. For my sins. I must kill. All puppets must die. Every single one. Okay. Wait. Those clothes. Uh oh. Uh, Leo, you came back. Uh, I, I, I killed countless puppets to atone for what I did. I didn't mean to break my vow. Oh, just so scared. interesting. I'm sorry I ran away. Oh, you're a ghost. Just leave me be. It's the weight of guilt. Because I'm wearing the clothes I just found. Lighter. I didn't know. Oh, puppets oh, oh. Kill the we're going to fight. I thought I thought I was your friend, Leo. I thought I was your friend. I wish I hadn't run away. Ooh, can I get a backstab off of him? <laughs> oh no, this is gonna go terribly for him. Have some thermite. Oh, 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 dodgy boy. He's got a mouse mask. Ow, ow. Okay, all right. Have some thermite. Surviving is a hell of its own. Oh, they just let you get some free damage off of these humans. Wonderful. Oh, almost got him twice. Oh, I'm trying to perfect parry him. Let's sippy the Capri Sun. He's got a lot of health for a mouse. Ooh, didn't give me the option that time. That's okay. Oh, it's like a split second. Ooh, ooh, the circle, the dueling circle. Okay. He's got some very fast attacks. I wish I'd known. Whoa. Uh, surviving is a hell of its own. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't lined up correctly. That's okay. You know. We'll just get him a fatal attack this way. Not going to be enough to finish him off. We're going to wait for him to get back up and power strike him. And one more. Add a doer. Stalker's Promise. Survivor's Mask. And oh, okay, so we get his clothing. Oh, there's the door. Hmm. So, uh, I don't know. He was talking about his sins. I wonder if that's the guy from the lore pages we found. Uh, the guy who was selling the snake oil. I would assume so. Let's see. Oh, I got his clothing. Maybe there's lore on that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Pa -pa -pa -pa. Nope, not there. Nope, not there. Uh, here we are. The hound, nope, that wasn't it. Survivor, there it is. When the puppets toppled the tower, the youth fled in fear. He lost his sworn brother and his name that day and became a survivor wandering in hell. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. The same guy from the lore? Little mousy mask. Rookie stalkers usually wear the animal mask decided by superiors. Perhaps this was even what had blessed this youth's fate. So that's telling me when you join the Stalkers, your superior gives you a mask, and it seems like they might give you one based off of your personal traits. Give him a mouse one because he likes to run? I don't know. Interesting nonetheless. Where am I? Oh! So this should be the Stargazer down here. Is where this should have looped. Yep, yep, yep. There it be. I don't need to... 
I got four Capri Suns, some health. I think we're doing all right. I don't remember if he dropped anything else. Just his clothes, I think. Right? Better safe than sorry. Let's make sure we're at least equipped with everything. Did he drop an amulet? No. All right. Nothing to worry about then. Okay, so that was that little side area. See, I told you. We're cleaning stuff up. We're cleaning up all the areas. We're exploring. We're having fun. I suppose now I'll go touch the Stargazers since it's right here. You have to kind of... You have to kind of plan when you're going to touch the Stargazer because it respawns all the enemies. So you have to weigh respawning all the enemies that you just fought against getting all your health back. Um, but being as how we didn't fight anything in this room, and it's a new fresh room, this is interesting. We got big man. Oh, that's uh, the shovel guy we fought down below. So I at least know him a little bit. And we just got puppets everywhere. My goodness. My goodness gracious. Oop, oop, and they're coming to life. Oh, and they're throwing stuff. Oh, they throwing. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, Pinocchio. We're in trouble. We are in trouble. <laughs> okay, big guy. Oh, okay, big guy. Oh, I'm on fire. Yikes. Okay, you remember how I said I, I could see that move coming? Oh, no. <laughs> well, them's the brakes. Should be easy enough to recover the ergo. Overheat occurs when fire damage builds up. Yeah, I experienced that firsthand. Thank you. So we'll just wait for big boy to wander away. We'll grab that ergo and we'll try to do what we were doing. I think standing up on the rafters is gonna gonna help in the long run. We will fight that that giant man. Don't you worry. We're just gonna clear out the riffraff a little bit first. Ooh, he got me right on my tootsies. Unfortunate. But not deadly. Gonna continue on. A technique crank. Alright. I'm not a technique build, but good to find. Good to find. Yikes. With that. Ooh. Descartes notes. The puppet cannot refuse the Grand Covenant imprinted upon manufacture. It must obey the creator's orders and cannot harm humans. But look at that puppet that was once called... Hmm. Fioko? Fucko. We're gonna call him Fucko. Is the Grand Covenant flawed? The once faithful puppet now kills humans. It creates puppets instead of fire. It obeys something else other than humans. It's as if something, someone is controlling it or it has a mind of its own. If, As if there's a king of puppets somewhere. Interesting. Is it pretending to be human? Is it a simple defect? This requires further investigation. It's surprising. Fucko's actions were not simple obedience, but faith. Fucko worships something as God. I heard there's the King of Puppets on Rosa Isabella Street. That must be what is controlling the puppets of Krat. But a puppet having a human ego is a problem from another dimension. There is still a puppet's secret that I don't know about. Ergo is probably the key. But those guys are awakening like humans more quickly as days go by. Someone has to stop them before it's too late for the sake of all humans. So the Vanini place did know that the puppets were uh, awakening, becoming active like humans, having free thought, and decided not to tell anybody at first. Which seems pretty on point for a company. Oh, jump! Goodness, I'm surprised I made that. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Oh, no. Oh, boys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ow. Okay, we're in, we're in a situation. 
Thanks for waiting your turn. Appreciate that. I panicked. <laughs> I panicked. Oh no, I panicked. We got out of there though. I am definitely going to reset at the Stargazer as soon as I explore everything and get these little uh these little tidbits and bobbers. We're gonna wait for this guy. There's a guy underneath, so I'm gonna wait for Big Boy to leave. And I think I can drop attack him next time he comes around. Oh yeah, he just waits there. He's asking for it. But we're going to make sure the battlefield is clear of annoyances first. Which includes coming up to... Yeah. Oh, the wall. The wall was his shield. Oh, no. Okay. Let's pop this. Hopefully we have enough health and enough wits to take down... This boy. Oh, we missed one. Oh, they're behind us. No, 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 no. Get the... Get the... Oh, we missed the fatal attack. Ah. That's unfortunate. We're going to see if we can get another one going. Nope, nope, nope. Not in the cards. Oh, I thought I could time that. Better. Turns out, I can't. And we got bombs throwing left and right. Okay, here we go. Fatal attack, yes. Fatal attack. There. A little janky on that. On that old boy. Ooh, we got a converter and a hidden moonstone. I don't like what you're what you're about here. You're annoying. And you enabled his behavior. You did nothing to stop him. Goodness. Okay, let's see what that converter is about. Ah, oh, yeah, workshop unit standard radiation converter. Fire damage reduction. Okay. So this is for electricity. This is for fire. Now, there seems to be a lot of fire around me. So let's go ahead and throw that on. Maybe it'll help a little bit. And we'll continue on tentatively. We only have one healing juice left. And that... Oh, oh, that's a boss. That's a boss because the specter pool is there to summon your helper. Okay, good to know. Uh, I'm going to go spend my ergo. I have 6,000. Level up and just run back to this spot. I'll meet you there. Okay, and once again, we are back. Leveled up a little stronger. We're going to go challenge the boss. Why did nothing reset? Oh, the smaller ones did. Oh, the big boy was just a one-off, huh? Well, that's cool. I think I could just run and go down the hallway and just sprint past all these enemies. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that works. Bye. Bye, fellas. Make sure they're not chasing me. So, I'm going to presume that this is going to be Fucko. The guy we just read about in the lore tablet that we found. Let's go ahead and use a star fragment. I am not above summoning help for boss fights. Never have been. Never will be. That seems to be what the game does. Every level you get the little lore bit up on the boss right before you fight him. Ooh, how intimidating. Hey, it's a good thing I put that fire amulet on. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh! He got a furnace in his grundle area. Let's go. King's Flame Fucko. Okay. Get him, Spectre. Let's see what he's about. Let's learn learn some moves. Okay, we got a downward stomp. Uh-oh. 
followed by an upswing and a down smash. I got you. Okay, all right. A little circle swing there. He's focused on the specter, so let's get some big swings in. One more. I think it'll be good. Oh yeah, let's watch out for that. What's he doing? Okay. Oh, 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 I'm on fire. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Goodness. We got some great damage in there, though. Oh, I managed to block a red attack. Imagine. Couldn't be me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go around, go around. No, get the, get the glowy bit. Oh! Why is that being so janky all of a sudden? Oh, well. Hopefully we won't need it. Ooh, 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 he got a cannon. Ooh, he got a cannon. Spectre's still holding on strong. Oh, we didn't, I didn't do anything about that. That's okay. And we finished my off. Spectre is still alive. Just barely. Let's take a look at this boy. The Spectre boy. Can you focus the camera again? Oh, oh, uh, okay. He was like a long-haired boy. I didn't see what we got. We got three things. I'm assuming one of them was the boss Ergo, as we have been collecting. Yes, King's Flame Ergo, Broken Heroes Ergo. I hang on to these, even though they give you a lot of Ergo, 5,000 each. I hang on because in Souls games, they usually convert into a cool piece of weapon or armor that's unique. I'm not sure where to do that in this game, if it's even an option. But I'm going to hang on to them just for now. And if I get too late in the game, I'll either gonna, I'll either look it up or I'll just use them willy-nilly. I don't know. What else did we get, though? We got a couple things. High-powered flame amplifier. Legion arm core part. Oh, cool. So we can build another Legion arm, presumably. The, puppets, uh, the puppet dreamed of a fire that would make the king's army. At the end of a desperate fight with a boy puppet, the fanatic's burning fire was scattered into foolish ash. My goodness. And a flame grindstone. A special grindstone that can be equipped to a grinder. It can be triggered by using the grinder when guarding. Because it is fragile, it cannot be used often. Special grindstones were made to respond quickly in battle. These grindstones, made from artificial gems, sharpen weapons, temporarily be them. Oh, so, okay. So with my grinder, I, I should be able to combine that somehow with my grinder. And then when I do that, it would put flame attribute on the weapon, I think? I'm sure when I go back to Hotel Crot, just like the previous couple bosses, more systems will be unlocked. And maybe that grinder will be one of them. Because so I can't do anything about the Legion Arm right now. Yeah. So, let's do that. Let's go back to Hotel Crot. And you'll have to find out... Okay, Mr. Vanini wants to talk to me. So he already went back to Hotel Crot. Good. I was about to go to... Oh, did I find his puppet? Hold on. Hold on. Let me go back. Because it, it could have been that his puppet was, like, right through that hallway. His, uh, his butler puppet. Just one second. Just a second. Alright. Could be that he was just right through here. Let me just... Let me just take a little peek. Um... No, I don't think so. Actually. I guess he's not around, or I missed him somehow? And now that we're here, back in Hotel Crowd, that is a perfect spot to stop the video. Join us next time where we do talk to Mr. Vanini and find out what upgrades we have. His butler's right there! What? I wonder if the quest was bugged. I, I didn't find him. I know I 
just did a cut edit, but I did not find him at all. I ran around that, that big room, that big boss room, just looking for him. Wasn't there. Okay, so we're going to find out how he got there next time, next episode. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to feed the algorithm by liking, commenting, and subscribing, all that good stuff. I hope you're enjoying this series. Leave a comment of what you think about it, and I will see you in the next one.